on the north side of Exmoor this morning at Watersmeet on the River Lynn, which is one of my favourite river beats in England. I think it's just absolutely spectacular here, as you're about to see. It's also amazing value, £3.50 a day. Now, unless you've got a time machine, I doubt you'll find much better value fly fishing anywhere in the country. So without further ado, let's get some waders on and get tackled up. So just looking at the tackle quickly, it's quite a powerful river, but it's also quite cramped in places. So I'm keeping my rod quite short. I'm going with a seven and a half foot three weight outfit and a simple floating line on that. As for the leader setup, I've got a very simple nine foot three and a half pound tapered leader, which is about as light as I'd go here. What I'm most keen of all to use, however, is some really nice, big, juicy dry flies that are gonna be perfect for the faster, tumbling water we find here. And the lovely bit about a river like this is you can get away bigger, meatier flies than you might on, on a slower flowing river. So we've got all kinds here, but generally the theme is quite decent size, the 12s to 14s, and lots of sedges in particular, such as the elk hair caddis and the deer hair emerge you can see here, all ideal for pocket water and fast bits. Well, we're off the mark with our first fish anyway. And from the background noise alone, you can tell the kind of spot I'm fishing, the kind of location a lot of anglers walk past because lots of rushing water, but yeah, really lovely big splashy take as well from this fish. Just nice, nice stamp of fish for a little West Country stream. And boy, do they fight in that fast water. We're just coming to some bigger, deeper pools on the river in this section. So one of the things I will do, although I really like to catch on the dry fly, another benefit of these big sedges and other patterns is that will suspend a nymph really well. So what I'm gonna do periodically through the day, if I can't get anything to come up, is just very simply tie a little bit of additional tippet material straight to the bend of the dry fly and fish a nymph underneath. Really very simple, but very effective at fishing the deeper water. Number one on this, these kind of fast flowing boisterous rivers is just not to be afraid of fast water because the fish certainly don't mind it. It, it. It's the sort of water where it pays to be impatient and just search all the time and quite often we're literally putting the fly in the water for no more than three, four, five seconds at a time. It feels daft if you're new to it but actually two or three seconds is more than enough if there's a fish there that's willing to grab. And they don't hang about in this fast water. You don't have time to study the fly and you get really dramatic takes as a result. What's really done the job so far has been adding a dropper and sometimes I'm adding as much as four or five feet of line. It looks a bit potch potch but in these deep pools actually when they're not willing to come up you've got to get down to them so it's worked a treat. And uh, plus we've got some really nice winding bouldery water here which is perfect for this style of dry fish fly fishing. But it's very much a case of don't hang around in one spot. Just keep dropping that fly in everywhere you think might be a fish. So we're going to fish it fairly quickly. 
And sooner or later, one of these big flies should bring a fish up for us. <laughs> 